So did you start seeing results like for that first year period mm -hmm. uh, in terms of, so you say 50% of mm -hmm. the students with the mm -hmm. enter campus where they are, yeah. um, when they've already had the session yeah. review, but yeah. uh, did you start seeing like outcomes yeah. changing? Yeah. So, when you're kind of fresher, would, yes. would, that, <laughs> would that start becoming a different uh, yeah. phenomenon? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I began, we began collecting that data because we do a baseline mm -hmm. for the cohort mm -hmm. and then do another study later to see whether this change. Mm -hmm. And we were targeting on uh, abstinence. Mm -hmm. We wanted to see the number of young people who are abstaining mm -hmm. grow. Mm -hmm. And we did deliberate things like making abstaining cool. So some of our, like letter it initially was go for gold, abstain. Go for gold, abstain. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we create a culture mm -hmm. that uh, we decided to go counterculture mm -hmm. and create things that were not cool, mm -hmm. cool. cool. So, um, so an idea is that we knew a lot of young people do things because of peer pressure. Mm -hmm. So the question is, how do you create a positive peer pressure? Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we did was first we said we're going to attract into the program mm -hmm. the best in the university. That's right. So what we do is that uh, we would advertise this program and then put posters. Yeah, I mean, even now, I, I very good cool posters. Very good the, posters. The coolest <laughs> of posters, like genuinely, and I yeah. can attest to this, they yeah. were never. Yeah. And I think it's going to take a while be yeah. before we get there. Yes. We, we, we came to university, we, yeah. we got it free. You friends. landed with presents. Yeah. Those yeah. posters yeah. would just make, a, yeah. make it known that. Yeah. If you're not, if you're not with this, then yeah, you're not I mean, in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we'd advertise mm -hmm. and say, we're going to have interviews. Yeah. And we'll be selecting seven students. Right. And we would have like 700 students at mm -hmm. and, and, and choose 70. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, there are people who applied for that program every time we were sent to Oh, man. But that we did that deeper because we wanted it to, for it to be so competitive that if you were in, then you knew you are the best in yeah. the university. Yeah. But also if you're outside, you are craving to get in. Right. And so then we did you select 70. Yeah. I remember one girl, uh, Damaris, mm. she had been, oper she was admitted, mm. operated, and then still came for the training the following day. Admitted to hospital? Yes. Went through an operation? Yes. And the following day she got telephone. Attended the she program. couldn't afford not to miss the program. That's how premium yeah. and valuable. Yeah. Yes, and, and if you missed twice, training. we kicked you out. Oh man. Yeah, I mean it was just, it was just the best, the best among the best. Yeah. Now let's yeah. let's dwell a little on that yeah. because um, an ICL program yeah. and there's a time. Yeah. An ICL training yeah. and an ICL program yeah. in campus. Yeah. And I, I believe it still yeah. kicks mm. ping yeah, yeah. <laughs> the way it it used to the, yeah. at, at the time. Yeah. Um, there is a premium, and yeah. that's what you're yeah. you, you're talking mm. about. Mm. What would make it that that valuable? Yeah. You know what is it that would? Um, what are the components? Yeah. Uh, at some point, you've spoken about yeah. how uh, Brett was such a good trainer. Yeah, how the curriculum was, you know, yeah. so nice. How students. Yeah. Uh, ensure that you know you can yeah. even get out of the hospital. Why? Why yeah. is it that it would be that yeah. much? Yeah, it, it has to be, and you know, because I, I, I see people trying to recruit young people all the time, mm -hmm. and I suppose when I look back, there are things that I've concluded that uh, if you're gonna create a youth movement, mm -hmm. there's certain things that that are important. Mm -hmm. One is that. Uh, you gotta, you gotta create a, a challenging environment mm -hmm. where you challenge the youth. Uh, you appeal to their best, to the to the best in themselves. Mm -hmm. So then you up the bar. Mm -hmm. So like for this one is that uh, make it competitive mm -hmm. and uh, make you earn your right to be the program. Right. Don't create a program where everybody fits in yeah and you know i even now i keep telling them you know out of 100 youth i'm only looking for the 30 percent of our warriors mm -hmm. out of every 30 percent out of every 100 mm -hmm. young people mm -hmm. there are 30 who are meant to be warriors mm -hmm. i don't know who they are mm -hmm. 
but I know there are 30. Mm. But the program we're going to take you through mm. is to be able to identify the 30 and let the 70 go. Mm. Mm. And I tell them right from the program, I tell them, you know, only I'm going to just take 30. Mm. And my goal is to make you drop off. Mm. Yeah. So it's again back to yeah. your your yeah. upbringing, your military yeah. upbringing. <laughs> so make it hard to yeah. join easy to leave. Yes, easy yeah. to leave. Yeah. And I say anytime you want to leave, mm. just tell me mm. and we'll make it easy. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Three pass where I want to Yeah. Mm. But uh, so that's, our, that's I think the first principle. Mm. Uh, it's, it's making it, uh, make the young person hand for it mm. and make it very difficult. Mm. Because and it's true, mm. not everybody, I don't know, uh, everybody following me. You know, mm. I just want to identify the, mm. the ones that are warriors mm. and invest in those. Mm. Mm. I think the second principle has to do with the, uh, it still needs to be uh, cool mm -hmm. and, uh, and and create the pressure for what everyone to be part of. Yeah. So like this, how we did that is that we made, you know, those cool t-shirts. Yeah. Yeah. And they decided that uh, they were going to be worn one day in a week on Thursdays. Mm. So on Thursday, every peer educator wore their SEL peer educator. Mm -hmm. So wherever you went in the university, if you were in a class, there was a blue t-shirt in front of you, yeah. several. Yeah. And you're wondering, who are these guys? Mm -hmm. If you went to the dining hall, mm -hmm. there was a few. Mm -hmm. If you went to church, there were a few. Mm -hmm. And so everybody begins wondering, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Who are these guys? Mm -hmm. And then you are told, but you don't qualify. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> Ouch. You don't have what it takes yeah. <laughs> to be in this. Yeah. And you can see the guys who've chosen yeah. are them charismatic, yeah. uh, you know the thing. And uh, we so you know, we and we got guys from like uh, Universal Nairobi, the mean machine. Yeah. You know, the guys who are right, like the trendsetters. Yeah. So I think that's the second thing is that they make it cool. The other thing is that make it fun. Mm. So of course we had lots of fun, mm. games mm. and so forth. Mm. But the thing is that the games are not just games. For the sake, mm -hmm. uh, the idea was to build a community mm -hmm. made up of units mm -hmm. that competed, who are competing against each other. Mm -hmm. So then we organized the teams with the Hamutoshis, mm -hmm. with the Sumurais, mm -hmm. we had, and everything that you did mm -hmm. are new points. Mm -hmm. So punctuality, mm -hmm. you know, depending on what time you come, mm -hmm. if you come, uh, if, uh, if the group of ten. Mm -hmm. If you say the meeting was starting at two, mm. I would say if out of ten, how many were there at two o'clock? Mm. Then you earn ten points. Mm. If only two of you are present, you only earn two points. Mm. Uh, uh, attendance, mm. um, teamwork, mm -hmm. uh, task, you give them performance tasks. Mm -hmm. So everything is about competing and you put in place a good award at the end. Mm -hmm. That way, then I find then uh, the whole uh, context is one of competition, is mm. one of earning, mm. and you know, because people are very competitive, mm. Mm. and uh, that's how we try. We sort of change that culture. Mm. Yeah. So all this, all this ended up being put together in, mm. in sort of like a growing curriculum. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So how speak about the growth, mm. the early growth of yeah. the, not just the curriculum, but yeah. also of now the organization. Yes. Yeah.